Welcome to another Wonderbuild tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to generate job reports for cost tracking. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's head over to the job section to start off. And here's an overview of all jobs that we have in the system so far. And the areas that we'd like to focus on are the estimated cost, true cost, and claim cost. So all these figures are brought from various areas within the actual system. Just starting off with the estimated cost, this is the cost, of course, that you've estimated for your project. So true cost is what you spent on the project thus far, so whether it's labor or materials. And the claimed figure is what you've invoiced to your customer thus far. Let's unpack this a little further, and let's just click on this job here. And you can see here, it takes us to the job budget, which is all the figures present as per the table. And what we'd like to do is have a look at the true cost. So let's go down to the costing section to show you how that is calculated and you can see here all of the category items are listed here of course the total estimated total market cost price and etc is down the bottom what we'd like to do is have a look at how that true cost figure is summed now first thing we'll look at is this example here so design and development consultants you can see here this is for geotechnical report and we estimated this cost at a thousand dollars and what was received by the purchase order the true cost is a thousand dollars on this right side you can see that purchase order is linked here Let's look at another example as well. So as you go through all these, you can now start to see what the estimated versus true cost are. And you can see here, for example, the spoil removal included above, that was estimated at 300 and the true cost is at 300. So let's click on this icon to go have a look at the purchase orders that were received for this. And you can see all of the received purchase orders and in particular the one we were just on for the excavation. And you can see here that's received so this is how all of the true costs are calculated via the purchase orders. The other two items that contribute to the true cost are back on the menu to the left and the roster, which is currently empty in this example, as well as the timesheets, which is cost of labor and etc. Of course, the last proponent are the progress claims as well that you can see here. Let's look at how we generate those reports now. Let's go to reports. You can see here the three different proponents that we looked at in detail are listed here. And let's click on purchase orders. You can see here all of the purchase orders throughout the project are listed here. Your variations, if there were any, will be here, as well as your progress claims. Now under your progress claims, of course, these will only list the ones that are received. So for example, if your customer or client would like to see a report on all of the invoices that were sent, you can actually export them as well. So let's have a look at how you do that. So top right corner, click on export. You can see here it downloads a spreadsheet and you can now either input that into your system or share that directly with your customer or your team as with your variations and your purchase orders. And that concludes the video tutorial on how to generate your job reports for cost tracking. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.